Manchester United are confident David De Gea will sign a new contract that will make him the Premier League's highest paid goalkeeper on pound 200,000 plus a week. De Gea's deal runs out at the end of the season, with United having an option to extend that by another year until 2020. But sources expect the 27-year-old to commit to an extended long-term contract beyond that, which will entitle him to a testimonial in the 2021-22 season when he will have completed 10 years at Old Trafford. Real Madrid's £32 million signing of Thibaut Courtois from Chelsea last week has removed at any lingering fear that the Spain international could move back to his homeland. Real, who almost landed De Gea on transfer deadline day in 2015, are understood to have been given little indication that De Gea could be prized away from the northwest. His connection with Spain has weakened over time and came to a head at the World Cup, with the player believing he was made a scapegoat for the disastrous campaign under Fernando Hierro in Russia. De Gea is content in Manchester, enjoys a good relationship with Jose Mourinho and is close to goalkeeping coach Emilio Alvarez. Alvarez mentored De Gea in his time at Atletico Madrid and was brought in by Mourinho with a view to help retain him. His father, Jose, has always been in favour of him remaining at Old Trafford. Meanwhile, United may appoint a director of football before the end of the season. United are one of the few Premier League clubs to operate without a director of football but it is understood that could soon change. United are yet to start their search but are expected to consider applicants from inside the club, although they would scour the market for the ideal candidate. While Jose Mourinho has been well supported during his time at the club, United failed to add any late arrivals before the window closed. Mourinho, contracted to 2020, was keen on a central defender but failed to get one, with the view being that none of those proposed would be a significant improvement. A director of football would work closely with United's already vast recruitment team, with executive vice chairman Ed Woodward and Mourinho maintaining key roles. They would ensure that a long-term plan is in place and potentially avoid last-minute scrambles for new faces. Across Manchester, T. Siki Bagirastain has won admirers for his work as sporting director at City while in Liverpool, Michael Edwards has impressed in the same role. At City, senior figures are understood to be surprised that United remain without one. United are looking at expanding their Carrington training base following the launch of their women's team, who are based at the Cliff, their former training ground. Earlier this year they appointed Colette Roche as their chief operating officer and are understood to be focusing on their commercial operation, which appears to have rebounded following a relatively quiet spell. Commercial revenue fell by £1.4 million in the current financial year's second quarter but went up 2.4% in the third quarter. Group Managing Director Richard Arnold, who oversaw world record deals with U.S. car manufacturers and shirt sponsors Chevrolet and sportswear giants Adidas, has been heavily involved in the operation with a number of new partners recently announced. Sportsmail understands that United's shirt sleeve deal with Kohler, announced last month, is to net the club around $100 million, £78.32 million, with the American homeware firm paying $20 million, £15.66 million, a season for five years.